Hey, how we doing everyone? Darius here from uh, Media Box. So here we got it. All right, so the, we got the T95M, okay? Android 5.1, let's look some of the information. Runs the same um, ARM 450 memory. We got a uh, one gig and DDR and, and they got flash uh, a gigabyte. Practically the same, okay? It's practically the same as we look into um, the and the famous uh, MSQ Pro, but this one is nice one. It's actually give a display. It will let you know when you are connecting Wi-Fi. If you are connected on the Ethernet, it give you the time when you play, when you pause. It give you some um, information on the actually box. Here yeah, we get the specification too. This one actually, this one does have optical port. The other boxes we've been seeing, they are all, all coaxial connections. So it's a digital coaxial connection, 50 on. Uh, this one actually has an optical output. Same thing we see here. Um, and this one it has only uh, two uh, USB, um, two USB port. Let me confirm that. Yes, this one has two USB port. This is what the other one's for. And I don't think it makes sense, so many ports. Um, to give the information, yeah, we got uh, 265 video recording. The application we're gonna look that okay, we're gonna run it. All right, so this is practically um, what we get into the box. You can connect the hard drive. If you guys want to know how to connect a hard drive, I will put a link in the description, even the top, so you guys can see in case you have a problem. All right, and here we get picture of what the board looks like and that's what I was talking about we get info you can see when it's connected Ethernet or it's connected uh, it's connected USB so we get a lot of information on the box I will show you all that and actually in an open box I will boot it up and show you what the looks the screen looks like but let's go into the software because that's what everybody want want to see so we get the T95M 4k some places you're going to be paying uh, a little more to, uh, for this one. Now they got a nice uh, intro compared to the M box. So this one they, they get more uh, sophisticated with the intro. So I didn't want to boot it up all the way. I didn't want to start coding because I want to show you. Okay, so applications with some of the applications here. Um, this one runs actually Kodi 16, okay, 16.0. Movie players, we see it. This is a good uh, file manager, give you good information. So, it's a nice uh, way to browser uh, files. Okay, so that's pretty nice. No different than any 5.1. I don't want to go there. Uh, Sky Life, I didn't try that. We got Showbox, some of the settings. Let's just look the settings. And the settings should be the same as any other MSQ Pro. If you guys want to know how to uh, run, um, how to config the box, I can put a link on the description or right in the right in the top. They're all the same, no matter what name. It's always 5.1. Okay. So let's look uh, again. We got the clean memory, and we got the media Kodi center. Now I'm gonna execute Kodi. See this one allow you to install, and this will override the installation. So, Candid is a fresh, fresh install. I love the user to choose whatever it needs to install. So we're gonna exit one second from here. And I wanna show you this. If I go to Kodi Center, this is kinda nice. I guess the 7 ds because the 7D on S, because we know when we install a third party uh, errands, technically they're not legally. It depends what country you are. So this one tells you if you wanna include the errands, 
that's the on-res, means the user responsible to the installation. So as you see, we got here 16.1. So let's run and um, include the installation. I mean, this is the first time I'm running. This I'm doing live as recording. Uh, uh, didn't execute this box before, so we see what's going on. Let's see what we'll get installed as default. When the other boxes already comes already with install all the plugins, but as you guys know already in Canada, they already swing all, all about 11 companies, they're making the boxes because they say the cable company is losing a lot of money. Oh, if you ever got this screen easily, you need to activate the mouse. Okay, you need the only because people say how to get this thing up. Okay, you got to activate the mouse. There's no other way to do it. Since I'm using a mouse, that's the way to do it. So you activate with your remote control. You click OK and you're in. So we see some of the applications. I get the program they install. No, no, I don't want to do that. Let's look on music. But always the same. The default we we always get video, something like any other box, Phoenix and all that, all the plugins we don't care about pictures so and i'm going to execute any of those things there's not the purpose for this video it's just to show you what we get in the software okay so let's see now what happened and if i execute Cody from here okay so it knows the local version and the remote version doesn't show anything and I know why I know why because I didn't connect to the network yet so yeah, they connect to the network no so let's connect so that means when I execute this already the plugins are inside the box because I didn't connect to any network yet so it means already comes with the plugin like pre-install and is you to accept the warning message that mean you become responsible not them the manufacturer of the box. So let me connect to the network and let's see what happens when I execute the Kodi link. All right. So we are connected. All right. So let's execute Kodi now. Don't know why. Okay. You already see the difference. So my guess is this one is a 16.1. Now, how we update this? Let's click here. Yes, yes, we'll overwrite everything. So this seems to be a, like a huge file. Not sure what we're getting. Maybe we'll update all the Cody Adams uh, pre-installed machine. Uh, maybe I'm getting the 16.1. And as we see here, this is a huge file. So we're gonna do, and it's gonna take a while, even though I got a fast connection. So what I'm getting, I'm not sure. So we're gonna do. I'm gonna actually pause the video. So it still seems to be taking a while. It's been over like ten minutes. So we're gonna see, you know, what happened later on. I'm gonna pause the video and then they see what's going on in the end. It's actually this is the first time I'm executing this box. So kind of purpose of making this video. So we all together. We discover and see what's going on with this. So you almost we get it there. Let's we'll see what happened. Almost done. I'm not sure it needs to be insipid. I don't know. Let's we'll see what happened. Okay, yeah, it's installing. Well, it's cool because actually, whatever they keep in the server, they keep updating. So let's see what actually this will change. Yes, yeah, a self update. The other box I was actually sh show you guys before. The next box also has some type of self-updating 
the, been pushing updates. This is the first boxes I've been seeing this. I guess they're newer boxes and they're getting better. So, what happened now? It's got updated, it's complete. Let me happen. So, let's see. Oh, okay. So it seems like now it's clean. Okay. So let's look this for a second. Um, where you see my Cody, actually that's Cody. And the one at the bottom is Cody update. That one is Cody update. And I'm not sure why they put the link there. But when we secure that one out, we see the Cody update. Like I said, I don't know if I said that before or not, but I don't think it's worth it. The whole uh, nightmare of downloading this uh, humongous file because you download stuff that you're not even aware what you're downloading. But you can always change it there, as you see there uh, on the right and the left is a Cori update. You know, we can click there and unclick, and we can then change it to be uh, uh, to be a Cori uh, to execute there. And the big icon, my Cori, and that's not worth it even doing it. You can delete out of there. That's for update. It's not going to work. It's not going to update anything. Because the file browser is a cool one there. And then the big icon run the metal. That will execute Cori. And after the installation that we did with Cori, it seemed to wipe everything out. Now wipe everything out, but there's no favors on it. So it needs to be click the application you want to be the favor in applications. Um also, um, it did a lot of bunch of programs, but uh, you waste a lot of space. Uh, you're gonna show you, gonna show you in a minute to show you like uh, how much space we uh, we blew off. But let's check now to see some of the programs. I think they got installed by the huge download. They took almost like a twenty minutes. The freaking thing. And we look into programs and we see some of the programs there. That was there before, I'm not sure. Because actually I'm running this box as, as I was recording the video for the first time. So I will recommend a clean Cori and do a free installation anyway. This is a 16.0. We're going to change the info now. And, and it's a version 16 we see right in the bottom. 16.0 so it needs to be updated so maybe if you know how to install everything i will clean it and start and then we see that we use a lot of space and i think that's what it would be the downloading so i don't think it's, it's worth it because it was a um, big 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 file and you get a bunch of stuff you don't know where you get them so i will clean it and let you not use the update. Maybe you want to use it. I don't know. I don't think. Well, in my case, I don't need to use update. I install my own applications. I don't know how the, the whole thing works. So, you know, perfect to have control. And now, the way it is, you know, you don't know what the hell they're pushing through through the network. So let's give another look on the applications. I guess this one has a bunch of applications that run on Android. They, do not require you to run uh, Cori, like Media Box, uh, Film On, um, Sky Life. So you got a bunch uh, that you can run without actually execute uh, Cori. So we got a few applications. Personal, I do not use none of those. Um, but I guess a lot of users that are aware of those applications, so you can execute without even going into Cori mode. All right. So I think with this, uh, we went over pretty much in um, 
on the T95M. I'm going to do another video later on in the week when I'm going to show you what the box looks like. We're going to plug in. We're going to go over to the ports and I'm going to show you the screen in the front. We're going to do a nice open box so in case you guys are interested in the future. Uh, remember to please, if you did enjoy this video and it help you, just click like if you think this will help a friend. Just make sure you share the video by sharing and click like. It helped me to grow and be able to create more video for you guys. And if you got any, any question, if you know anything better than what I'm talking about, just post, post it because it will help me. It will help all the users that may be looking for those type of questions. All right. So, guys, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much.